Hey guys, welcome back to some more Cricket Captain 2018 and part 2 of the road to world number 1 with England and in today's episode we have a change of plan. I have restarted the save, don't worry, I've went and simulated the first match and, and kept simulating until we got a drawn match. Um, I didn't want to sort of change anything in, in that regard but thinking about it yesterday I, I, I've, I, I've thought... I actually want to give the limited over stuff a go this year, so I've restarted the save, and uh, we're also going to be taking charge of the limited over sides. I'm probably going to regret it, but if I do, I'll just simulate all the matches. You know, that is always a possibility. Um, one of the things that has been added into this year's game is, is this domestic tables thing, so we can see... Uh, which teams are doing well and maybe poach some of the players that um, are, do are doing well for those teams. Um, and I think that's a, a great addition. Thank you for all the support on the series or on the first episode. Had over 30 likes so far. That's absolutely amazing. If we, we could hit it again, that would be uh, incredible. So, yeah, thank you very much for that. But in today's episode, we will be taking on the second test match against Pakistan. Obviously, the first test match um, that we did yesterday. We scored over 600 runs in, in that innings. And uh, a lot of people were, were talking about bringing a spinner in. Maybe Moan Ali, maybe Daniel Bess. Uh, I have brought in Dan Bess. I don't know whether he's going to be the one that plays, though. Um... You see, if I if I bring walks out of it, then we lose that um, sort of batting strength, if you like. But uh, I'm actually I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to bring Bess in because I feel like we did miss out on on um, the, the the spin ball, and so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, a lot of people were saying, why aren't I using Stu Broad a little bit more? And and that's mainly because. He didn't impress me in the first innings yesterday. I think uh, I think he needs to do a lot better this match, and hopefully we can win the series today. Um, oh, we've got the choice of batting a ball, and so let's have a look. Um, I mean, the way is already two bars, so I'm wondering whether we should possibly bat first before the pitch gets in any worse condition. It looks like a decent um, day to be batting. Uh, nice and hot and, and if we get the advantage early on obviously we bowled first last innings uh, or last match I should say and uh, struggled a little bit um, to to get over the line because we didn't know when to declare <laughs> um, but at least if we if we start off uh, as we mean to go on then we might have a bit more control of the match unfortunately Hamid has gone for 19 uh, early on here, so that's not the best from him, but hopefully Cook and Root can form a nice partnership. 94 for one at lunch on day one, and as I said, 100 runs a session. That is what we're going to aim for every time in this series, and, and, and ho luckily 94 is close enough to 100. But 50 for Joe Root um, in the second test match, 54 Ali Cook as well. Oh, he's bold though, he's gone for 53, so that brings Milan to the crease now. That could have went a lot worse. But we're 150 for two here. It's one of those niggly situations for England where, you know, we look like we've made a good start. 195 for two at T. But uh, it could quite easily turn into a collapse. But Joe Root, the captain, has gone towards his 100. Absolutely brilliant. Milan having another good innings again. Uh, he's gone to his 50 as well. And uh, we're pushing on quite nicely here. Oh, Milan's gone though. He's out for 61. It's 255 for three now. Um, uh, hopefully, Joe Root can, can push on and make this a big score. That's out. I thought maybe it was just missing off stump. Oh, and it wasn't. There we go. 126 he's gone for. So now, Pakistan take the new ball towards the end of the day. You'd expect these two to push on a bit, and that's a terrible one to, to lose at the end of the day. 27, Butler's gone for. No point in a night watchman, really, for the, the last two overs. Oh, for goodness sake. Stokes gone for a duck in the last over of the day. 
304 for 6. That's put a bit of a dampener on it. Butler and Stokes going late on there. Hopefully Bairstow can do something. Or Roland Jones is, is gone. He might not get the chance to do anything here. But uh, we've at least passed 300. Mm, broad gone. So best comes to the crease. And, you know, even though I'm telling Bairstow to keep strike, he doesn't seem to be doing that at the moment. But here he is. I could be out. It, it, it's not. It was a swing and a miss. That's out, though. He's gone for 18. And, and now Jimmy Anderson comes to the crease. I guess we'll go with, with Bess. Uh, and hopefully he can have a bit of a swing. That could be out, though. Hmm. Well, look at him. Look at him. 32. Oh, it's dropped as well. He's on to 43. Can he get his 50? That is the question. Oof. I thought that was out. Oof. This is ridiculous. I think that's outside the line. It pitched outside leg. If we look at this. Yeah. Good delivery, though. Oh, what a shame. Best gone for 44 in the end. But a nice little um, rally from him. A, a, a cameo, if you like. 362 all out. And now it's our turn to uh, hopefully get some nice wickets with uh, Anderson and Roland Jones at the start of this game. So... Um, Broad and, and Stokes, they, they'll partner up a little bit here. And then we'll bring in Bess, because apparently the conditions are, are good for spinners. So hopefully Bess can do something. Here he is now, Bess to Ali. Can he get his, his wicket? No, he can't, unfortunately. Uh, Broad, T and Valdea too. It's 66 without loss for... Um, Pakistan, Roland Jones steams in and that's a great delivery towards Aslam and he gets the first wicket, Aslam gone for 37, Pakistan now 66 for 1, Roland Jones steaming in towards Azam now, he's got his confidence, come on, Roland Jones to Ali, oh, swing and a miss, swing and a miss, Stokes and Bess, why not? Bess has been disappointing so far. Oh, is he going to prove me wrong here? Best to Ali. Hey, he's got the wicket. Brilliant. He's gone for 60. That's the breakthrough we needed. Um, and at the end of day two, it's 147 for two. We still lead by over 200. So I think we can be pretty pleased with that, to be honest. Um, I'm expecting Anderson to be getting more wickets than he is. He has broad now to Azam. Not quite. New ball available. Stokes and Broad to have it this time instead of Roland Jones and Anderson. But here he comes. Anderson to Azam. Oh. Swinging well, but not quite towards the, t the stumps. Although he does get his first wicket there. Salah Hudden gone for 49. And now 236 for 3. Lunch interval on day 3. Come on. Anderson now to Shafiq. Not quite. Looks like this could be another drawn test series for us. It's not looking likely that we're going to make the breakthrough. He has Broad to Shafiq now. Edged and gone. He's out for 20. That's a great delivery from Stewie Broad. Best now to Azam. Hmm. T interval day three, 330 for four. It looks like they're going to put a big total in there and put us under a lot of pressure going into the third innings. We just can't make the breakthrough at the moment, and that's very sad. Roland Jones to Azam. Not quite. Hmm. In trouble here. In trouble. They're into the lead, and unless we get six quick wickets, we're very much... On the back foot here. Brought a so hall or so hail. High in the air. And, oh, it's dropped. That's a terrible drop. 
I'll tie in the air again and well I mean that's two wickets perhaps in the last over that we didn't get broad catches this one though so Hale gone for 85 and Stuart Broad proving the doubt as wrong <laughs> Here's Anderson to Ahmed now, and he's gone as well. He's out for five. What a start to day four here. Anderson now coming in again. Khan's out as well. Anderson started really, really well here. That's a nice delivery, and he's gone as well. He's out for four. Two wickets in and over for Jimmy Anderson. And now to Mohamed Amir. What a delivery that is. Is that out as well? It is. Anderson, three wickets in and over. What a brilliant Delivery that was. He's on a hat trick the next time he comes round, and he's got the new ball. Jimmy Anderson on a hat trick. Didn't quite get the hat trick, but never mind. That was rolling back the years there. Broad to his arm. What a partnership from Anderson and Broad to finish off the Pakistanis there. And that is it. 460 all out. They have a first innings lead of about 100, which is annoying to say the least we didn't want that but um hopefully ah hamid gone for six that's a poor start for us hopefully we'll be able to push on here and and get a lead 62 for one um in day, at lunch day four i think that was that's a good delivery towards cook and i think he's gone he is for 30 and milan now as well this could be quite a critical wicket for them and well he is gone for naught. Can't now to root. It's outside the line. That is outside the line. A tie in the air. Oof, it's four though. Lucky. Streaky. Can't root. Oh, look at this. Absolutely brilliant from these two. Oh, what a delivery from Mohamed Amir, though. Two bears, though. He's gone for 46. That's a big shame, and that could be Butler gone as well. It is. That's a huge wicket for them, I'm afraid. Well, another 100 for Joe Root, though. T interval day four. We lead by 111. Going to need to be careful. Oh, Root's gone. Roland Jones to the crease. I think Ben Stokes needs to go for it. I think that's our, that's our only way of winning now. That's a no ball. And that was Plum LBW. Look at this. Wow. Well, three terrific deliveries. Hopefully that's not a retirement, I was going to say, because that would have kept them out of bowling. Stoke's gone for 34. Just going to have to go for it now. And it's, it's not going our way anymore. Can best pull us away again. Mm, brought out for a duck. That's disappointing. And Anderson might be following suit. Another ball, Anderson. He's done so well to survive the over. Oh, it's a no ball. I think we'd have rather not had the no ball. Oh, that's another no ball. Goodness me. Are they spot fixing again? <laughs> oh, Anderson gone for a duck in the end there. 157 is the target for Pakistan. Ah, no matter what Joru did there, that was it. And, well... I mean, we're either going to lose um, or win. There's, there's no drawing this match, but good conditions for bowling. We just need, really, for the boys to put in their best possible performance. Stu Broad to Aslam. Great start. Aslam gone for two. 13 for one here. Can we pull off a remarkable ball and performance? Broad to Azam. That's a brilliant delivery. He's rolling back the airs here. He's gone for two. Anderson now. That's a terrific delivery. And it's gone. 20 for three. Pakistan. Jimmy Anderson. What a wonderful delivery that was. Broad to Shafiq now. He's gone. It's 21 for four. Ashes 2005, anybody? This is crazy. 
Absolutely crazy. End of day four. 37 for four. They still need another 121 to win. Oh boy, was that fun to watch that final session there. Anderson now to Sawhill. He's gone as well. It's 62 for five. They still need 96 to win. We have a chance of doing this, boys. It's it's going to be tough, though. It is going to be tough. I mean, we really need our best ball and performance. 24 to win now. That's annoying. It gave us hope. It gave us hope. Just like England football. But Pakistan are going to go and win this, which is really annoying. Ah. Ah, it's four and that's it. Pakistan have won by five wickets and... Well, I mean, it was lost in the first innings at the end of the day. That's where it was lost. We would have won that match easily if, if we hadn't conceded those extra hundred runs. But, uh, no, nah, good, a good partnership at the end there. We had them at 20, 21 for four. Um, and, and we just couldn't make them pay, unfortunately. But Broad and Anderson rolling back the years there with their wonderful... Um, Bowling performances. Joe Root, a couple of centuries. Very nice to see from him. But uh, we have lost the series, unfortunately, and that, that is a big blow in uh, becoming the world number one team. We've got some one-day internationals to look forward to against Scotland in the next episode. But if you've enjoyed that, then make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.